All right, so I am at Cardiac Hill. I thought that uh, what better way to train for the summer is to just go for it at Cardiac on my first real training day. I've done some small stuff, but uh, yeah, I thought let's just go for it today. And um, my my pack, I just brought like things like for lunch and stuff like that, and I can't believe what any of my pack is. I'm like, oh my gosh. But anyway, what better way to train? Let's just. Let's just do it. Let's get some weight and let's do some climbing. Fun. Yay! I helped! <laughs> my first help ever! Oh my goodness! That takes a little bit out of you. <laughs> So I'm a little weakling. <laughs> um, I uh, so I saw it, and um, the other side and saw. I just moved it. <laughs> I don't know if normal people do that, but that's what I did. <laughs> Cause I'm I don't know if I'm lazy or just that just seemed way easier to me. <laughs> I'm so weak. All right, I get to go do some rocking. Look what I just sawed. I'm just kidding. <laughs> this thing is hard enough to climb over when it was full, uh, let alone using a handsaw. <laughs> oh, woohoo. Yeah, I did that. No. <laughs> Some gorgeous greenery there. Oh, I love it. I'm so happy. I'm happy there's no snow. Um, I think sometimes this time of year might be some snow or mud. Oh, maybe I could walk and talk, right? <laughs> I forgot, I can do two things at once. Oh my goodness. All right, <laughs> check in later. And like two seconds after I started walking, no joke, there's some snow. <laughs> Not what I call actual snow, but there's just kind of a, kind of a funny thing to appear like right after I said it. So yeah, a little bit of snow. And, uh, ooh, it's icy snow. Carefee Cinderella. Okay. Anyway, now I'm really gonna go hiking. <laughs> All right, so I can hear the creek. Cardinal Creek, I'm getting close. And uh, that little spring is up here that I used to get water from. Don't bother anymore, it's Cardinal Creek so close. Um, and my little creek time. I love my little kitchen. Come sit, have a cup of coffee. Ooh, this is icy snow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's not slip and break our necks. Okay, time to put the phone away because it's very muddy here. All right, you can't really see it. Um, but if anyone's coming out this time of year, this year especially, I'm like, I don't know, like every year. I think it's worse usually. Um, there's a bunch of snow up here. I'm around kilometer four, I think. I'm not walking while filming this because um, it's actually ice, like solid ice snow. So um, yeah, and I just have trail runners on. So I think spikes would be kind of handy here. Um, like the actual spiky things. So I am thinking about turning back. I really wanted to get to Cardinal Creek, but if it, I think it's gonna be like this the rest of the way. So I don't think I'm gonna do much of this. I don't know how close I am. I like I'm decently close, but I'm not sure I want to risk it. So anyway, anyone who's coming out, today's April 19th or so. Um, just be really careful and come prepared. Not with me. <laughs> I'm on my way down and that's that, uh, this is that junction I was talking about earlier. Um, I just wanted to clear something up about what I'd said about um, the marks where to go. <laughs> I'm tired. Um, so there are very fancy signs eventually that um, they usually, I think the first one I ever saw was um, on the way up the actual cardiac hill, the actual climb past Cardinal Creek, that's where you'll start seeing those. Um, but for now, you will, or for now, if you're with me, <laughs> in the first part, 
Um, the first uh, four and a half kilometers from Mission Creek, you're looking at um, ribbons and um, the old metal blazes. So, um, but it's still it's still good. It's just a couple spots like this that I talked about where you're just like, oh, which way to go? But yeah, so there are fancy signs. There are. I lied. This isn't one of the fancy, fancy ones, but <laughs> these are the, the old fancy ones. So I think this is the only one. I, I don't know for sure because it's really easy to miss these sometimes when you're not paying attention. So just be paying attention. Um, that one is just at the beginning of where the forest starts from um, past the burn site. So, so you will see them once in a while, but you just got to gotta keep your eyes open for sure so I'm just about to uh, uh, <laughs> lower <laughs> but yeah maybe I'll keep it a secret I don't know see <laughs> I will definitely announce it Woo! that was a little stick that was just a little stick anyway um, I'm on a stupid road for God's sake oh I have to be looking for where I have to turn off here. Oh, <laughs> I haven't been paying attention. Anyway, um, I'll have to turn this off in a second. <laughs> yeah, so when you do this trail, pay attention because I went way down. Well, I went to the top of that little slope there where the road kind of goes down. And I'm supposed to <laughs> hit the trail up here. Pay attention. This is pers it's so important. It's so important. Uh, at this point of the trail, I mean, not as big a deal. I mean, you can see Highway 33, so it's not like you're going to get lost here. Um, but, uh, yeah, pay attention. It's the biggest thing. Um, I've missed, I've missed um, signs left, right, and center and up going the wrong way. Um, I've never gotten lost from that. I got lost once because I made a stupid decision. Um... But, uh, and I was, I think I was dehydrated and wasn't eating enough because I can't eat very much. So some very bad, bad decisions happened. And um, actually it was one, well, two big ones, right? And then I just kept getting deeper and deeper into it. So that's why I got lost. Trail is marked decently, but you gotta pay attention. So anyway, I'm gonna, end this because I'm tired. It's time to go home. So I'm very, very happy about today's climb. Um, I did the same hike as two days ago and I had an extra pound in my pack. I always find like even one pound makes a huge difference. And uh, I did that hike 23 minutes faster. So that's really exciting for me. And um, I don't think I'm gonna get that much faster. Um, as I increase the weight. We'll see. If I can maintain the time that I'm doing, I mean, that I think that'll be gold um, just because of my fitness levels anyway, but uh, I think that's going to be amazing. And then I can get a, a really good idea about how I'm going to be um, uh, on the trip itself as I look at the topo maps and some more. So, yeah, excited. Very excited. Progress. Yes. You know, it's really, really funny. I bought a selfie stick thinking it'd be so good to get away from the woo, it's a close up. You know? <laughs> yes, it's obnoxious. Um, so, <laughs> I, uh, I've been, I've been asked about, you know, how, how you deal with like gross things when you're on the, the trail, right? I mean, I don't bring deodorant because I just, I find it doesn't do a single thing for me. <laughs> um, you're going to stink no matter what you do. And, um, sorry, it's, it's funny because that's like the least of the grossness. <laughs> so my answer to that, I think this is, it's disgusting. Like any form of etiquette you can think of, anything, it, the ba most basic things, they don't matter. They go right out the window. So I do bring a cloth for like, you know, I sweat the drips down my face and stuff and uh, either a cloth or a bandana. Usually there's a bandana on my face or my neck. So anyway, uh, you know, I use that thing for everything. <laughs> I use it with sweat. I use it to blow my nose. It's disgusting. 
and uh, I didn't use my shirt sleeve, so, okay, <laughs> sorry. So, uh, yeah, I mean, that's one of the more gross things. Um, it's, it's so disgusting that when I get picked up, <laughs> my husband, on the one trip, um, we were driving on the highway and all four windows had to be open on the drive home because I smelled so disgusting. Uh, and I mean, I didn't blame him, it was, it was gross. Um, it took two washes and borax soaking for me um, to get the, the stench out of my clothes. I did get it out, so I was surprised. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, it's, it's really disgusting. That's one of the reasons why I insist on bringing wet wipes because I portion out um, one per day for at nighttime. Um, actually, it's two per day, but um, I, I have the one to use on my face, my hands, just to get a cleaner feel. That's about as clean as I get. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I mean, anything you can think of that would be just like to be proper or to be clean or whatever. None of that. None of that. All right, people, today I am starting at the bottom. And I don't know if you can see the stairs. This sucker starts with stairs. Let's zoom in, shall we? And it just goes up. And I hate these stairs. I hate going up them. I hate going down them. <laughs> Anyhow, here we go. It's time. Two pounds on the pack and down two pounds on the body weight. Yeah, <laughs> I'm looking good for that. So I'm wearing a hat today, and of course, as always, long sleeves and long pants. And the reason why I do that is because, um, mainly because of ticks. Um, hat, you know, supposedly for some too, but uh, for ticks. And I was always a stickler for keeping it on. Um, but last year it was 40 degrees Celsius on my last day. Actually, it was 42. <laughs> um, and I took it off for that. I was like, no way. It's only 17 today, but oh, man, I'm hot. It's hard work. Um, so, also with the hat, what did I want to say with the hat? Ah, yes. So, when I'm out here, because someone might say, well, why don't you just wear all that stuff and you go on your trip? Well, not only am I cardio training, distance training, pack training, I'm also heat training. So if I build up to it, great. Um, it won't be so bad. I don't want to be in a situation on the trail where it's like, oh, you know, I got heat stroke or whatever. I mean, it's not gonna happen, but I'll be at least used to the harshness of the heat. So, all right. So I'm gonna do some trotting down the hill because I like to finish off that way. 